Welcome to WWDC. Our iPhone has become indispensable. So this year, we've set out to make FaceTime calls feel more natural, comfortable, and lifelike. We're bringing spatial audio to FaceTime. Now your friends' voices are spread out to sound like they're coming from the direction in which they're positioned on the video call. Next, let's talk about two powerful new options for your microphone. The first is voice isolation. When you're on a FaceTime call, your mic is picking up a cacophony of sound. So in voice isolation, machine learning distinguishes these sounds, blocks out the ambient noise, and prioritizes your voice. Sometimes, though, we want every bit of sound to come through. And that's when you switch to Wide Spectrum. In Wide Spectrum, your mic picks up an entire symphony's worth of sound, your voice, and everything around you. When you want to see every face in the room, you can now turn on Grid View, giving you another way to view your group FaceTime calls. And to make your FaceTime video capture more beautiful than ever, we're introducing Portrait Mode. In FaceTime, Portrait mode blurs the background and naturally puts the focus on you. Next, to help you schedule your FaceTime calls, we've created FaceTime links. Now you can generate a link for a FaceTime call and share it anywhere. You can send the FaceTime link in places like messages, email, WhatsApp, or jump into Calendar. And it's not just Apple devices that can use a FaceTime link to join your call. Your friends with Android and Windows devices can use your FaceTime link to join the call right from their browser. And even on the web, FaceTime calls are still end-to-end -end encrypted, so your privacy is never compromised. We love enjoying shared experiences, and so we built SharePlay. SharePlay is a powerful new set of features for shared experiences that you can enjoy when you're on a FaceTime call. With SharePlay, you can bring music into your call for a shared listening experience unlike any other. Watch movies and TV shows while having rich, real-time connection with your friends. And share your screen, giving you limitless possibilities for bringing apps right into your FaceTime calls. SharePlay is unlike any other shared content experience out there because it moves fluidly throughout the whole system. Maybe you want to order takeout while you watch. Picture-in-picture picture lets you see your friends and the video you're enjoying together. And controls are always accessible with just a tap. And when the moment calls for a bigger screen, you can extend the video to your Apple TV and watch it there while sharing the moment with your friends over FaceTime on your iPhone. So in addition to Apple Music and the TV app, SharePlay is designed to work with your other favorite apps and streaming services. With an API built for easy adoption, developers can bring their own apps right into FaceTime, and it works across Apple devices. Next, when it comes to staying connected throughout the day, our go-to is messages. Look at this brand new collage design. In this cool stack with even more photos from Taylor, I can quickly swipe through them, tap to view the full bunch, and even add a quick tap back. Now, let's see what's going on with my friends. They're always sending me all kinds of things, like this fun playlist from Leah and this mission-critical article from Casey about what type of pizza is best. So now, if I head over to the News app, there's a new Shared With You section that conveniently surfaces that pizza article and a few from my other friends. Now that I'm ready to learn more, I can take a look and check this out. Up top, it shows me who it's from, and I can tap from Casey to pick up our conversation and remind her that Deep Dish is obviously the best kind of pizza. So now, if I want to check out that playlist Leah sent earlier, I can head over to Apple Music. And it's right here. Remember those great pictures from my family's trip to Joshua Tree? Well, over in the Photos app, the new Shared With You section makes it super easy to get back to them. They'll also appear in my featured photos and memories. And what's really cool is they're automatically brought over to my library too. And Photos is smart enough to only bring over the ones I actually care about, like the ones I was there for. So I don't have to worry about screenshots or memes cluttering up my library. We've built Shared With You into Safari Apple Podcasts, and the Apple TV app. And if something especially important comes through, you can quickly pin it, and it'll be elevated and shared with you and places like Search. Of course, that means making the time for it. So we have new tools to help you focus on what matters most. And that starts with notifications. They have a fresh new look, contact photos for people, and larger icons for apps, making them even easier to identify. To help you engage on your own time, we're introducing the Notification Summary. 
a helpful collection of your notifications you can schedule to be delivered at any time you choose. We use on-device intelligence based on how you interact with your apps to arrange the summary so it's easy to quickly catch up. Notifications in the summary are ordered by priority with the most relevant ones rising to the top. Notifications from people will not end up in the summary, so you won't miss important messages as they come in. If now really isn't a good time, you can use Do Not Disturb to silence all notifications. Now, when you're using Do Not Disturb, your status is automatically displayed in messages. When you reach out to someone who's indicated they don't want to be disturbed, you'll be reminded in that moment. And for truly urgent messages, there's a way to get through. In these moments, you can use Do Not Disturb or strike more of a balance with focus. With focus, all you have to do is choose what you want to focus on. When setting up a focus, we use on-device intelligence about your past activity to suggest apps and people to allow notifications from. You can even dedicate a page on your home screen to match your focus and organize your apps and widgets in a way that reduces temptations by making only your work apps visible. We'll even intelligently suggest using a focus based on your context, using different signals like location or time of day. Of course, you can create a custom focus too. And when you use a focus on one device, it automatically sets on all your other devices. Let's get started with a feature we call live text. It starts with the camera. Let me show you. Let's say I just finished a meeting with the team and I want to capture my notes from the whiteboard. I can now just point the camera at the whiteboard and an indicator appears here in the lower right. When I tap it, the text just jumps right out. I can use my normal text selection gestures, just drag and copy. And now I can switch over to mail and paste those in and then send this off to Tim. And this is great for photos already in your photo library. To find out more about this restaurant and even look up its location. Live text works with photos across the entire system, including screenshots, quick look, and even photos on the web. And it understands seven languages, including simplified and traditional Chinese, and works across iPhone, iPad, and Mac. And this works for art, books, nature, pets, and landmarks. We're also making it easier to search for your photos by adding photos to Spotlight. Spotlight is the universal place to start all of your searches. Now, with photo search in Spotlight, you can quickly find your photos right from the home screen. We've also added all new rich results for contacts. You'll have quick access to call, text, FaceTime, or email them, and Spotlight intelligently includes everything related to them. Their location, if shared through Find My, recent conversations, shared photos, calendar appointments, notes, and files. And we've added all new rich results for actors, musicians, TV shows, and movies as well. Here in the Photos app, I can tap on the For You tab, and my memories are right at the top. To customize my memory, I'll use a new feature called Memory Mixes. I can tap to bring up the controls, then tap this button to jump in. Swiping on this carousel lets me try out different mixes with intelligently chosen songs, pacing, and a look to match. With iOS 15, we're bringing keys for your everyday places to wallet. Starting with where you live, we're creating the fastest, most secure way to unlock your house, apartment, or flat. And where you work, just add your corporate badge and tap to enter your building or office. And where you travel with hotel keys, you'll automatically receive your key when your room is ready. This fall, you'll just scan your driver's license or state ID in participating US states. It's that easy. Your ID information is now in Wallet, encrypted and safely stored in the secure element. And the TSA is working to enable airport security checkpoints as the first place you can use your digital ID. The Weather app is incredibly popular and it's getting a huge update. First, we're introducing a beautiful new design with data and layouts that change based on conditions. We've also added new weather graphics to help users better understand conditions like wind, UV index, and barometric pressure. And we've completely redesigned the gorgeous animated backgrounds. And the weather app in iOS 15 includes full screen, high resolution weather maps. Apple Maps is the best way to navigate your world. 
we started by building a gorgeous interactive globe that invites users to tap and explore. But in iOS 15, Maps will offer incredible new details for commercial districts, marinas, buildings, and so much more. We've added things like elevation, new road colors and labels, as well as hundreds of custom design landmarks. And we built a beautiful new nighttime mode with a moonlit glow. We've added a great deal of new road details to the map, including the addition of crosswalks and bike lanes, will help drivers more safely navigate complex intersections. And when driving on highways, Maps now renders overlapping complex interchanges in three-dimensional space. And of course, we'll be bringing this driving experience to CarPlay later this year. We've also made big improvements for transit riders by helping them easily find nearby stations. Users can pin their favorite lines to the top and even keep track on their Apple Watch so there's no need to take your phone out of your pocket. Maps also automatically follows your transit route, notifying you it's time to disembark as you approach your final destination. And if you've ever exited a station, unsure of which direction you need to go, Maps will help get you back on track. Simply hold up your iPhone, scan the buildings in the area, and Maps will generate a highly accurate position, delivering detailed directions and augmented reality to help you complete your journey. We're launching this beautiful new three-dimensional experience in these cities by the end of 2021. So that's iOS 15 with powerful new features that enhance how you use iPhone. With iOS 15, we have some great new features coming to AirPods. Starting with Conversation Boost. Conversation Boost focuses your AirPods Pro on the person talking in front of you, making it easier to hear and follow along in a face-to-face -face conversation. And to help you hear the conversation even better, you can also reduce the amount of ambient noise. Announce messages with Siri helps you stay connected. iOS 15 takes this further with announce notifications. Now Siri can automatically read your important time-sensitive notifications to you, like when your dinner has been delivered. And when you set a location for your reminder, like the grocery store, Siri will read your shopping list to you right when you need it. You can easily choose which apps to enable and select do not disturb when you don't want to be interrupted. And if you're using the new focus feature, your notification preferences are already taken into account. With iOS 15, you can locate your AirPods Pro and AirPods Max using the Find My network. To make it even less likely to lose your AirPods, you can now receive a separation alert to notify you if you leave your AirPods behind. This fall, we're excited to extend spatial audio to tvOS. So now you can enjoy the full surround experience tuned for the big screen in your living room without disturbing the rest of the house. We're also bringing spatial audio with dynamic head tracking to Mac OS on our new M1 powered Macs. So you can enjoy spatial audio on all of your devices. It's time to talk about iPad OS. Now you can place widgets among the apps on your home screen. So we're adding a new larger format for widgets designed just for iPad's larger display. We wanted to make it easier to get to all of your apps. So we've brought App Library to iPad. We built access to App Library right into the dock. You can hide pages that you no longer need, just like this. In iPadOS 15, there's a new control that appears at the top of your apps. Tapping on it reveals the multitasking menu. From here, I can take an app full screen or work with two apps at the same time by creating a split view or slide over. But I want to save this email and come back to it later. So I can just swipe down to minimize it into a new area or calling the shelf. I often have a lot of Safari windows open, many in split view paired with other apps. And now I can just tap to quickly switch between them. I can also add or remove windows right here from the shelf. I can now create a split view just by dragging one app over another. And what's really cool is we now have a new set of keyboard shortcuts that let you do all of this without lifting a finger. iPadOS 15 also gives you more powerful ways to capture and organize your information with notes. This year, we're adding powerful new features for collaboration and organization. First, we're adding mentions. Just mention someone in a shared note and they'll get a notification linking them back. There's also an all new activity view that quickly shows you what's changed in a shared note while you were away. And to give users new ways to organize their notes, we're adding tags, taking notes system wide with a feature we call QuickNote. Starting a QuickNote is easy. When I swipe, 
the note appears out of the corner of the screen. And when I'm done, I just swipe it away. What's super cool about QuickNote is that it's aware of the app I'm using. I can swipe across my QuickNote to see my most recent ones. And anytime I want to see all my QuickNotes, I can find them right where you'd expect in Notes. Quick Notes can be created on iPadOS and macOS, and you can access and edit them later on iOS. So we're excited to bring Translate to iPad with experiences that leverage iPad's unique capabilities, like practicing handwriting in another language with Apple Pencil. Auto Translate detects when you're speaking and in which language, so no one needs to tap a button to respond. Just speak and let Translate do the rest. We're also excited to announce system-wide translation so you can translate text anywhere. Just select the text and tap Translate. With live text, you can even translate text in a photo. System-wide translation is available on iPadOS, iOS, and macOS. And of course, you can download languages to use all of these features on device. Swift Playgrounds is a great way to learn to code. This year, we're taking it even further by adding the ability to build apps on iPad. This new project type even works with Xcode on Mac. Swift Playgrounds now supports improved code completion. Today, privacy is more important than ever. So now in the Mail app, we're introducing Mail Privacy Protection. Here's what it does. It hides your IP address, so senders can't link it to your other online activity or determine your location. And it prevents senders from seeing if and when you've opened their email. And this year, we're making it even stronger by also hiding your IP address from trackers so they can't use it to link your activity across different sites or learn your location. You can see which trackers are prevented from profiling you in the Safari Privacy Report. We wanted to bring this same transparency to apps you use too. So we're introducing the App Privacy Report. This new section in settings gives you an overview of how apps treat your privacy. Today, we're introducing on-device speech recognition. This means that by default, your audio is all processed right on your iPhone or iPad. We're adding a new way to get back into your account if you ever forget your password or get locked out. You'll now have the option to add people you trust, like family and friends, to a recovery contact list. You can call them to get the code you need to get right back in. We're launching a new digital legacy program. You'll now be able to add people to your account as legacy contacts. So when you're gone, they can simply request access and your information can be passed along quickly and easily. We're upgrading our paid subscription to something that we call iCloud Plus. We are introducing a new service called Private Relay. It ensures that the traffic leaving your device is encrypted so no one can intercept and read it. Then all of your requests are sent through two separate internet relays. It's designed so that no one, including Apple, can see both who you are and what sites you're visiting. Next, let's talk about another iCloud Plus feature, Hide My Email. Hide My Email, you can share a unique, random address that forwards messages to your personal inbox. And it's built right into Mail, Safari, and iCloud settings. iCloud Plus also includes built-in support for HomeKit Secure Video. You'll get all of iCloud, plus our new private relay service, Hide My Email, and expanded HomeKit Secure Video support for the same low prices we offer today. A critical part of taking care of yourself is monitoring changes in your health. For the first time ever, you can get insight if your fall risk increases and take action early to improve your steadiness. You can view your walking steadiness in the Health app. You'll see a classification of OK if the metrics show that you're stable while walking. You can see how your walking steadiness may change as the months go by and receive a notification if your steadiness is low or very low and you're at increased risk of falling. To empower you to care for others, we're introducing Health Sharing, a private and secure way to view health data, trends, and alerts for the people most important to you. I can also receive notifications including high heart rate alerts, changes in mobility, and more. And it's easy for me to connect with her about her health. So if I see a noteworthy change, like her resting heart rate increasing, I can simply tap messages and start a conversation with my mom. In watchOS 8, the Breathe app has been enhanced to give you more opportunities to slow down and be mindful. We're also introducing Reflect, a new way for you to be more mindful. For example, a reflection could be, think about something you love to do and why it brings you joy. In watchOS 8, Apple Watch can track another key metric while sleeping, respiratory rate. On Apple Watch, the photo's face is the most popular watch face. 
That's why watchOS 8 is bringing another great way to enjoy your favorite photos with the new Portraits watch face. It takes the great portrait photos from your iPhone and uses the segmentation data to create a multi-layered face with depth. With our new Home Keys feature, simply tap your iPhone or Apple Watch to securely unlock the door. Starting this fall, you can ask Siri on HomePod Mini to play something on your Apple TV, completely hands-free. So this fall, you can select HomePod Mini as the speakers for your Apple TV 4K. Also later this year, we'll begin bringing voice recognition everywhere HomePod Mini ships. We believe Siri is most powerful when it's available throughout your house, which is why we're so excited to bring Siri to third-party devices. For the first time, HomeKit accessory makers can enable Siri in their products, so you'll be able to talk to Siri on even more devices. Mac OS Monterey gives you the power to accomplish more than ever and helps you work fluidly across all of your devices. This year, we've created a completely new way to work across your devices with greater precision and speed, and we call it Universal Control. With Universal Control, you can now use a single mouse and keyboard to move between your Mac and iPad for a seamless experience. I'm gonna simply move my Mac cursor towards my iPad, and the iPad automatically recognizes it. And if I move a bit further, boom, my cursor is now on the iPad. With universal control, I can even drag and drop files between my devices. For our pros out there, universal control works with more than two devices. But there's another screen with its stunning retina display that makes everything you watch simply amazing. That's why we're introducing AirPlay to Mac. You can play, present, and share just about anything. As you draw a sketch on iPad, your colleagues can follow along on the bigger display. And you can even take advantage of any Mac's high fidelity sound by using it as an AirPlay speaker. And this year we're bringing shortcuts to the Mac. They're in Finder, Menu Bar, Spotlight, and of course you can ask Siri to run them hands-free. We think using the browser should feel natural and uncluttered. So we've reimagined the browsing experience. We distilled the toolbar to its essential elements. Tabs are more compact, modern, and lightweight. And there's a completely new way to use tabs with tab groups. On iPad, the new tabs and tab bar work just like they do on Mac. There's one last feature that we're really excited to share, extensions. And now we're bringing web extensions to iPhone and iPad. Just like on Mac, you choose what websites you want extensions to be active on. Take it home, Tim. Thank you, Susan, and thank you, Craig. Our OS releases will be available as developer betas today and each of them will have a public beta next month. And all of this incredible software will be available to all of our users this fall. We hope you've enjoyed today's event and that you're excited for the week ahead.